Hose bibs. Every house has them. They're typically ugly. They often drip and leave a green stain by your front door. And sometimes they burst and cause massive problems in the wintertime. On the build show today, I'm going to show you one that solves all the normal problems. On the build show today, we're talking about hose bibs. Now first, let me show you what's standard practice throughout the whole southern U.S. This is Texas, Florida, Georgia, all the southern states where it doesn't freeze very often. They've got one of these. This is a $7 hose bib, and it's attached to a length of plumbing pipe that's coming through the wall. And believe it or not, the water actually shuts off outside the wall. Now the northern builders are snickering at this because they've known for years not to do this. But in the south, we still install these today, and every five or six years we have a hard freeze that comes through, and all those houses got built have a burst pipe somewhere that causes big flood damage. Now builders, when they build those, are telling clients, put an insulation uh, jacket over that during the winter time, or they're saying use some heat tape like this to prevent it, but ultimately, it's the northern builders that know what you want to install is one that the homeowner doesn't have to think about. And that's this right here. It's a frost-free hose bib. What's happening here is instead of shutting the water off outside the wall, it's actually shutting the, wall, the water off six inches inside the wall cavity. So when I turn this gate valve right here, it's shutting it off way back here deep into the insulation. Now this one also has a vacuum breaker on there. Now that's required by code as well. So that when we turn off the water, it's gonna break the vacuum, let some air in there and drop out the water that's from here to the hose. Now remember either type or really whatever type, you wanna take your hose off in the winter cause you could still have some freezing there but this is a much better choice. But on today's episode, I wanna show you an even cooler choice that I just found out about not too long ago that I'm finally putting in my houses for the very first time. This is the Aquar House Hydrant. Now check this out. What we've got here is a frost-free hose bib that actually looks good too. Now this happens to be the six inch model. They sell it in several different models, but again, it's gonna shut the water off inside the wall. But what you'll notice is missing out here is there's no handle set. Very sleek, very clean installed. Now this one's actually what you're going to see installed on this house here. This has the flap cover on there. And then to turn the water on and off, instead of having a handle set where you're going to scrape your knuckles on the outside, you're going to attach this to your hose. And when you thread this in, it just takes a quarter turn. The water is going to turn on once you pop that in. And this is already attached to your hose. And when you pop it off, again, the water turns off. It's got a vacuum breaker on here. This is the version two. So if you're building new, you have to use this one to meet standard codes. And now with this vacuum breaker, the water is gonna be naturally let out in this distance back here. Now, if you're in the south, the four or six inch model is gonna work just fine for you. That's all you're really gonna need to make sure you don't freeze. It doesn't freeze long enough and hard enough to need longer than that. But if you're in the northern climates, you wanna think about the eight, 10 or 12 inch model. If you've got the room, the longer the depth, the better. They're all about the same price. Now these are expensive in comparison. These run about $90. But in the scheme of things, 60 bucks more for a really nice looking hose bib that has some cool features, not a bad deal at all. Now they've got a couple options on these as well. You can get a, a standard uh, kind of hydrant on there that already has a handle attached to it. So when you actually thread this in, now you could leave this attached and it's gonna turn your water on or off. And they also make this in a gray or blue color, so you can kind of decide what you want there. But you have to remember that you're gonna need one of these Aquar supplies. So you wanna attach one of these to all your hoses, and I'd probably order one or two extra so you can leave those behind with your clients. Now, a couple things you wanna know about this though. If you're installing this in new construction, not a retrofit, but new construction, the best practice is gonna be actually leave a loop of water line in the wall and my preference would be to plumb these in PEX, which is a flexible piping system. So for instance, on this house here, we've decided uh, to do a loop inside the wall cavity. And remember, you're not gonna do this in the body of let's say a two by six wall. You need to do it in a spot where you've got some depth. I'm slab on grade on this house, so I don't have the traditional basement with a rim joist area. So I had to install these in places where I had intersecting interior walls or a double deep area that allowed me some space. But what we used was a, a, a section of pipe. Basically we used a three inch PVC. And then I used the street 90 so that I could direct that loop of water in there. Again, because it's PEX, it's flexible. 
And what this allows me to do is service the unit in the future. So 20, 30 years from now, if I had a drip in this unit or I had something go bad with a washer in here, I can actually unscrew it. I can pull this all the way out of the wall cavity. I can unhook it and change it if I want to. I could do service or maintenance to it. And then I can put it right back in the wall and screw it back together. That's definitely your best practice. Now you may not be able to do that if this is a retrofit project for you, but if you're building new, you want to do that. That's the best way to do it. Guys, big thanks for Aquaware for sponsoring today's video. This is a product I saw at the International Builder Show a couple years ago, and I've been wanting to do this, so I'm really glad these guys sponsored today's video. We use this for the very first time in this house, and I really like it. My clients are excited about this. And what I like about it is that I don't have to worry about frozen pipes. It's automatically taken care of for the client. Nothing to think about. No shut-off routine in the wintertime, none of that. Everything's automatically done. For more information on Aqua, there will be a link in the description below. Otherwise, follow me on Twitter or Instagram. We'll see you next time on The Build Show.